The year I applied to business school, I was living across the street from Wrigley Field. In my application, I wrote that my dream job was to own a Major League Baseball team. Of course, I did follow it up by saying I'm not sure I'll ever have enough cash. The structure that was required by the sellers was, um, was very, very complicated. And so you had to have the confidence to understand what your bankers were telling you and what they were trying to advise you about the structure. My background from business school, which helped me get into the investment banking world or the capital markets world, was critical. When it was in capital, which is the firm that I started, you know, basically I, I could sit in any chair and do any job because it started small and it grew organically. And so you, uh, you really use the skills from, from business school to understand what everybody does and to effectively do it. When I kind of shifted over to the Cubs, that's when you have to take a step back and you know that you can't be as good at what other people do in their jobs. So you, that's when you really have to start looking at delegating and letting people do their jobs and really more benchmarking people. Developing a player is a lot like developing a good young manager. What they need is the platform to be successful. We've built great facilities in Dominican Republic and spring training and, and now at Wrigley. They need mentors, so we, we have a lot of great coaches and trainers and managers to help them grow as people. They need time and patience. We don't rush anyone through our system. We try to make sure that each of them have a chance to prove themselves. We don't give up on players. I think we develop players as well as anyone.